Yo, what is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on Carrion Deck with Redmi Note 3 and today in this video I am gonna be showing you the latest build of Reselection Remix ROM and what are the bugs which get fixed and what are the new features over here that I found. So without further delay, let's make it happen. First, here is the about section for you. As you can see, it's 2nd May 2018 build based on Android 8.1 and the stock kernel is Dominator kernel over here. Now let me go back in display settings and style. Here as you can see, the UI style is set to automatic which means depending on the wallpaper, it will change the UI color to dark or light. So let me just change it to light. It takes a couple of seconds to apply and now let me show you the live display and as you guys know there was a bug of the night mode previously but in this build this bug is fixed and as you can see night mode works super fine here. You can change the color temperature if you want to for day and night. Heck you can even calibrate the screen colors as you're liking. And gotta say, the performance on this ROM has been improved and the app open-ups and stuff feel smooth enough. And let me open some apps and show you. And now, if you want to know in depth about the customizations, here is a card for you. But here is a new thing which I wanna show you. But before that, if you are liking these animations, well you have a separate window here for whole UI animation. So that's that. Now if we go into interface and go to smart pixels and if I enable it. If you look closely, you can see most of the pixels of the display turned off. This feature is just to save the battery, but it might damage the display, I don't know. So be sure to keep that in mind. If you look closely, let me just toggle it so that you can see the differences. It works kinda like AMOLED display, but here it's not at all depending on the black colors on the screen. So it's just randomly disabling pixels. And you have these many options to change the percentage. You can enable it with battery saver and set the percentage of pixels to be turned off. Now let me just click a portrait picture with GC Mod 5. And in the meantime, let me tell you that Vault TE and Vault TE Video Calling 2 works super fine here. Now let me just show you the gaming performance by playing PUBG of course. Yes, there are a little bit of frame drops already and I am playing in the lowest settings as you can see. The gameplay is much better than last Nitrogen OS that I tried yesterday. I have to say over here the experience is much better of the gameplay. And that's how I got a kill right there. But the phone was getting really hot during the gameplay and it reached almost 45 degrees celsius. But it's quite summer time over here so that we have to keep in mind. And of course you can toggle the night mode and other stuff from quick toggles. And we have this easy tile add option. And scrolling through small quick toggle feature is present here too. And we have double tap to sleep on the status bar as usual. And swiping a finger to control the brightness on the status bar works super fine here. But do note that guys banking apps like Tez doesn't really work here. Yes I tried with Magiskite of course. But it simply didn't work. 
and face unlock is working super fine as you can see but the fingerprint scanner is working a little bit slower at least i think so i have a pc fingerprint scanner by the way i do not know if codex is working or not but i heard that it's not working last time and while the screen is off you can press and hold the power button to toggle torch and i think that is a pretty cool feature right there the performance on this rom i am saying it again because i really feel that it has been improved amazingly well than the last time at least and the user experience over here is much better and in terms of battery life as you can see i got around two and a half hours of screen on time with 48 percent around battery left and I didn't turn on the battery saver mode for even once in this usage. The standby drain is really low which is really good as you can see the straight line over here. So you can easily get like 4 to 5 hours of screen on time easily. So that's all I had to say about the latest build of Resurrection Remix ROM as of now. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. So that wraps up this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the big thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe to the channel right here if you love my work. This has been Tiro from Carry and Tech and I am signing off for today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye now.